Hi, I'm Anna. For those of you who don't know me, I am one of the scribes at SNI. And today I'm going to be talking about the effects of vitamin B12 deficiency on the spinal cord. So vitamin B12 is an essential vitamin that cannot be synthesized by the human body. And so we rely on getting it through our food. Once we ingest B12, uh, the parietal cells in the stomach release a protein called intrinsic factor, which binds to B12 and facilitates its transport to the ileum where it's absorbed. Vitamin B12 is responsible for making red blood cells, DNA, and helping to uphold the integrity of the myelin sheath. Some of the causes of vitamin B12 deficiency include inadequate intake, which is less common in the United States, but more prevalent among people who follow a vegetarian or vegan diet. More common in the US would be malabsorption. Pernicious anemia would be the most common cause of malabsorption, but some other causes would be gastric surgery, bacterial overgrowth, pancreatic disease, some drug interactions like with metformin, genetic disorders, and tapeworm infestation. And B12 deficiency is more common in elderly people. So a patient who presents to clinic would often have symptoms of uh, fatigue, dyspnea, glossitis, and cognitive decline or paresthesias in their hands and feet. So vitamin B12 deficiency affects the dorsal column of the spine, which is responsible for uh, proprioception, vibration, and light touch. So on physical exam, a patient might have decreased vibration and proprioception sensation. They might have a positive Romberg sign or gait difficulties. So as you can see here on imaging, in the cervical or upper thoracic spine primarily, a patient with vitamin B12 deficiency would have a region of T2 hyperintensity in the dorsal column. This is because what is occurring in the spine is demyelination. B12 is a cofactor for several enzymes that are involved in myelin formation, including methylmalonyl CoA mutase and homocysteine methyltransferase. So if any of these processes are disrupted, then the myelin formation is disrupted and myelin will be broken down. Of note, B12 is used in prenatal supplements to promote proper nervous system development and prevent neural tube defects. To diagnose vitamin B12 deficiency, you would look for some of these things on a blood test, like low or borderline serum B12 level, elevated levels of homocysteine and methylmalonic acid, reticulocytopenia, megablastic anemia, and anti-intrinsic factor and parietal antibodies. You could also do a peripheral bl uh, blood smear to look for hypersegmented neutrophils and megalocytes. The natural course history of vitamin B12 is if it is left untreated, then this would lead to further degeneration of the spinal cord, nerve damage, bowel or urinary incontinence, and paralysis. Additionally, not really related to the spine, but I thought it was interesting, is dementia. But they've found that this can be uh, reversible upon treatment, and as well as megaloblastic anemia. First line treatment for vitamin B12 deficiency is monthly intramuscular B12 injections. But one could also increase the intake of foods high in B12, such as fish, meat, poultry, eggs, and dairy products. Or uh, some other treatment would be oral supplements and sprays. So that's all. <laughs>